Yorkshire Sculpture Park is one of the great places to see art in, in this country, if not Europe. I mean, here we're looking at uh, the work of Eduardo Chilida. This is the first time anybody in this country has seen Eduardo Chilida in the open air. That is what Yorkshire Sculpture Park is all about. Showing sculpture in the open air, bringing artists from other countries, showing Henry Moore, showing Barbara Hepworth, creating a space for art and nature to coexist. interesting collection. There are some incredibly significant pieces. For example, The Family of Man by Barbara Hepworth. This is the only place in Europe where you can see the complete family together. And then as you move towards the lake, we've got Promenade by Anthony Caro, which is probably the largest sculpture you ever made. I'm not quite sure. But it looks absolutely sensational against the lakeside. Um, we support artists through residencies. You may well have seen Jenny West's uh, project installation in the centre. So we do everything to support sculpture, to support artists, and to provide the public with an opportunity to see art as it's never ever see, been seen before in this country. The Sculpture Park is set in this beautiful historic landscape, uh, designed very much in the manner of Capability Brown. No one's quite sure who actually designed it, um, it's very much a domestic landscape and I think that's what makes it such a wonderful setting for sculpture. You know, it's not, it's not overpowering for the sculpture. We have uh, 500 acres of land here, um, so you, you can spend a whole day here if you want, walking around the landscape. Access, uh, access to us is very important. Uh, admission is free and what we try to do is we try to make the landscape accessible to everyone. Uh, it's not easy um, because uh, it's a historic landscape, it's an undulating landscape, there are areas which are easy to get round, areas which are more difficult. We have a sculpture trail, the Access Sculpture Trail. We also have scooters for people with disabilities which would enable people to move around the landscape. very diverse audience at the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. Many people come here who don't normally go to art galleries. Uh, we've generated our own audience. Uh, we have 300 to 400,000 visitors every year. Within one hour's drive in distance of the Yorkshire Sculpture Park there's something like a 10 million, 11 million population. So obviously people come from this area, but they come from all over England. They come from Scotland, they come from Wales, they come from Europe. People come from America, Japan. They come from everywhere. Everything we do at the Yorkshire Sculpture Park is underpinned by education. Everything we do. So every exhibition we have, we have a massive education program attached to it. We work with schools, we work with colleges, we work with universities, we work with PhD students. We work right across the whole range and it is a very, very, very exciting part of our activity. One of the things that's very important when you're curating exhibitions in the open air is to understand the space. When you first enter the Yorkshire Sculpture Park, you come into a fairly rough landscape where we have the Henry Moors, the organic nature of the Henry Moors against the roughness of the landscape. So all the time we're trying to sort of think in terms of this open, the enclosed, the vistas, the trees, etc., etc. And the building we've created, our new centre, took that on board. That is simply a platform to walk, an enclosed platform where you walk through it and as you walk through it, you see the landscape. But when you're in the landscape, you're hardly aware of the building. And that's what our new architecture is all about. We 
we've developed this old indoor riding arena into a fantastic gallery. One of the great things about this gallery is it's got a marvellous view looking back across the estate and also it's got tremendous height so it has the space to site very very large sculptures and we've developed a unique partnership with the Arts Council of England and the South Bank Centre and we share that space with the Arts Council and the South Bank Centre so they will show uh, exhibitions from their collection for six months of the year and we will use the gallery for the other six months of the year. The next stage really is to rationalise the resources we've got to ensure that the landscape will remain here forever, to, sure that, to ensure that the sculpture park will remain here forever and to, um, and, 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 and to capitalise on the investment both in terms of money and human endeavour that's gone into uh, bringing this, this, this extraordinary project to, to life because the number of people that have been involved in this um, is, 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 is quite enormous. Um, the contribution that artists have made is, 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 is very, very significant as well as the Yorkshire Sculpture Park staff. But it's an incredibly ambitious and expensive undertaking. And the thing that we need more than anything else is money, not just to name the buildings, not just for capital development, but to keep this wonderful landscape going. Uh, to move one piece of sculpture is very, very expensive. Uh, to install something like the Borowski or to install something like the Caro is as expensive as putting on an indoor exhibition. And in that sense, the sculpture park is very unique. There's only one sculpture park like this in the whole of Europe and it certainly is worth investing in.